Hi, I'm Bodie Pendus, and if you have slow running faucets or ones that barely dribble out, today I'm going to show you a solution to how to clean them with the help of a small balloon and some CLR. So let's get to working. So this is what the faucet's supposed to look like. Full bore, all on, and this is what it actually looks like. This is the faucet that's got mineral deposits, got calcium buildup all in the aerator, and it's stuck so hard you can't even twist off this to remove it. And that's part of the issue. We'd have to take a pair of pliers and damage the outside of this fitting to do that. We don't want that to occur. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna fix it. So the first thing you wanna do is get you some CLR and a couple of small balloons that'll fit neatly over your faucets. Using a glue syringe, I squirted the three or four squirts into the balloon to get it about half full when it's uninflated. Now you just slide the balloon over the faucet, move it up until the CLR covers up the end of the faucet. All right, so we're gonna take off the balloons this morning. This has been 24 hours. And we have a little rubber grippers. These are oven silicone mats. And we have maybe even a little thinner, hopefully, a little gripper glove we can use. If those don't work, we'll break out the wrenches, but we're hopefully don't have to use these. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is slide off this balloon. to have it spew if I, there we go. Let's run the water, okay. Mint works in me. It's a lot better gripper, but nonetheless, it doesn't necessarily, <clears throat> There's all the mess that's in there. This is what all the calcium deposits look like. This catch, or it's caught by the aerator. So I've popped off the aerator, which is this little thing here, and that, and that looks pretty good. So the LCR trick, Got all the calcium deposits off. Let's snap this guy back in. Appear to be all clear. Don't feel any deposits up here. Let's screw this guy in. Full bore, that's what we want. Blast in away. Okay, so we're gonna take, slide this off of this guy here. That's pretty easy. Let's see if we have any difference this morning with the app. No, it still has a bit of slowness to that. All right, now we're gonna see if we can Screw this by hand, new. No. But we know with our oven mitt trick, it worked pretty good. So we're just going to resort to that first thing here. Ah, uh, we got it that time. <laughs> it's so wet and slippery. There we go. I can't grab it with my hands. The LCR gets on there. There we go. 
So this is what the water flow looks like without the aerator and the filter on it. You can see it flows nice and strong. I'm gonna put it on here without the filter right now so you can see what the difference is. And so it's reduced a fair bit, which tells me that this aerator still has calcium deposits in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this whole thing into a little small bottle of LCR and have it do the trick on all the stuff inside the filter here. So here's the one top that had probably the worst calcium deposit. And I soaked it in LCR for two days, took off the cap, that looks good. And I was even able to take out the aerator here and clean off all the deposits around here. So you can see the only thing left is a scar mark from when I tried to take it off with a wrench before I used the LCR. Now we're gonna screw it back on and have a free flowing water. So cleaning the bottom end of the aerator of your faucet with the LCR is a wonderful and quick, easy method to make your faucet flow better. So if you like this tip, give me a thumbs up. Want to see more of our tips on our channel? Consider subscribing down below. And as usual, come back and see me real soon.